jury find the defendant guilty of first degree murder. With that, a more than decade old murder case is closed. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Michael Henslick was found guilty of killing Holly Cassano in her Muhammad home in 2009. He'll likely spend the rest of his life in prison. WCI 3's Aaron Ease is live in our newsroom. And Aaron, this is the day Cassano's family has been waiting for. Yeah, Jennifer, especially Holly's mother, Tony. When the verdict was read, she cried. She says she's still processing this, but she wants to thank everyone for keeping the case and Holly on everyone's minds over the years. We, the jury, find the allegation that when the defendant committed the offense of first-degree murder, the first-degree murder was accompanied by exceptionally brutal or heinous behavior indicative of wanton cruelty was proven. On his way out of the courtroom, Michael Hensley gave a special wave to the media. It's one of the last times he'll ever see cameras in his face because he's likely to spend the rest of his life in prison. Over the last several days, the jury saw Cassano's blood-spattered home and gruesome autopsy pictures of her body, which the forensic examiner testified was stabbed more than 50 times. Did it appear that Ms. Cassano struggled with her assailant? Yes, she essentially bled to death from these, these sharp four stabbing. A crime lab scientist testified that Henslick's DNA was found on Cassano's body and in her home. To confirm that, investigators showed the jury the cigarette butts they say Henslick tossed away, which they used to build his DNA profile. After they arrested him, he agreed to talk. Did you kill her or not? How? Where? Have the time to, to talk with him, it was a pretty, pretty sobering feeling. Sheriff's Office Sergeant Chris Dar sat next to Henslick while he admitted killing Cassano and having sex with her dead body. That's a difficult moment where you don't want to fail the family. You don't want to fail everyone on the team who's put a lot of time and heart and soul into this. In closing arguments, Henslick's defense team tried to discredit the DNA evidence and suggested the Sheriff's Office hadn't done enough over nine years of investigating. Based on less than 1% of the available evidence, that was an argument prosecutors and the jury ultimately rejected, finding him guilty after just an hour of deliberating. This has been a case that has been on my watch um, since the beginning. To be able to be a part of bringing closure to this family and to this community is, um, is a bit overwhelming for me, to be honest. Now, as Tony Cassano left the courtroom, she gave the investigators a hug. She also hugged members of the Henslick family who had also been watching the trial all week. Live in the newsroom, Aaron Eads, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Mm, interesting. All right, thank you so much, Aaron. Now, Henslick will be officially sentenced next month. He's looking at a mandatory life sentence because the jury decided he committed the crime in an especially cruel way. Prosecutors say they'll present even more evidence during a hearing for that.